Hello internet people, in this video I'll show you how to verify your website ownership in Google Search Console with an HTML file. We are going to download an HTML from Search Console and then upload it to your website using cPanel's file manager. Arnie, distract the audience. <laughs> from Lab City 4 wins. Tip Sweat Punch. Alright. Before we start, I just want to mention that I think it's better if, if you verify all domain properties in one go using the DNS verification. The video to the tutorial will appear on your screen now. It's a bit more complicated and you need access your hosting provider, but you will have all variations of your domain under one property as you can see on your screen now. Otherwise you end up with a messy thing like this one here. Okay, let's get started. Go to Google and search for Google Search Console and select the first option. Here just click on start now. Now if you've never used Search Console then you will see this screen. In my case I've used it before and I see something like this and maybe you end up in the old view of Webmaster Tools it looks like this. If you did just click on the use new search console button and you will end up on the same screen as I am now. Now just below the search console logo click on drop down and select add property type. Let's start with the verification process by typing our domain URL into the right field. Arnie which URL are you verifying? Just bodies. Brought to you by justbodies.com I'll be using a subdomain called business.punchsalad.com which is a demo page of a WordPress theme I've built recently. I'm going to use HTTP but if you have HTTPS you probably want to start with that. Then click on continue. Google will give you five options of how to verify the domain. If you already have Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager installed you can verify your website using them. But for me this doesn't always work, so let's choose the HTML file option. Then just click on download button like this and save the file somewhere on your computer where you can access it easily. You will need it really soon. You lie! So here you can see Google tells us to upload this file to the root of the domain, so basically the first level of your website folder structure. Now. We can use either File Manager or cPanel or just connect to your server with FTP software such as FileZilla and upload the file to your server. Here I'm on my cPanel dashboard. If you don't know how to get there, check the video that will appear on your screen now. So in cPanel, click on File Manager. Then on the left, go to Public HTML. In my case I need a folder called business as it is my subdomain business.punchsala.com. But for example if I was doing this for the other domain like this one I would go inside the folder and upload the HTML file there. Oh yeah if you only have one website on the hosting then you would upload the file in the public HTML folder. So inside the folder click on the upload and find the file you just downloaded. Now the file should be uploaded to your domain's root folder and as you can see the file appears here. I hope that didn't sound as confusing as this. You are not you, you are me. And you can go back to search console and click on verify. Now your site should be verified with Google that said, Google recommends that you do this verification for all variations of your domain, so HTTP, HTTPS, www and the non-www variations, like you see here. So you'll have a few variations like this here. After some time you will see data like this, where you can see what search words bring you SEO traffic and you are able to notify Google that you have new pages and it needs to crawl them. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained this is the channel for you so hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. 
Next, check out the first video, a walk through the Google Search Console dashboard with all the features and what they do. Or if you want to know how to use Google Search Console to submit your new website to Google, check out the second video. Whoosh!